All right. Today is Thursday, and it looks like it might be snowing outside again. Little tiny snows, but the trees are just beautiful today. They have frost on them and a little bit of snow, and it's just a beautiful winter wonderland out there. So I chose a story that I think you will like that goes along with it, okay? I think you're going to like this one. This is one of my favorites. And I have some fun little cards to retell the story that hopefully we'll get to this afternoon, if not, maybe sometime next week to go along with this. Now, this story is called The Mitten. Everybody knows this word, don't they? This is a word we practiced in reading a lot. What is this word, kindergarten? The, the Spell the for me. T-H-E. Yes. And what does T-H-E spell? The. Yes, the, and it's called the mitten. And you can kind of see right here in the picture, there is a mitten laying there around all of those animals. So let's see why those animals are looking at that mitten this morning, okay? All right. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. And let me give you a hint, kindergarten. Do you see over here, there's one mitten and inside the mitten, there's a little picture. And then on this side of the page, there's a mitten. Oh, it's a little hard to see. Let me scooch it over a little bit. On the other side of the book, there's a mitten and inside it is it's another little picture. Those give you clues about what's happening in this story. So I want you to pay attention to those as well, okay? So he wanted his mitten made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you will never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you have your snow white mittens. Uh, so off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Ooh, and we look at the picture, and what do we see in this picture over here? An animal. An animal. Ooh. Let's find out what happens. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm, just just the right size. So he decided to stay. Ooh, what do we see in this one? Mmm. Yeah? Let's look. Let's see what happens. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. What are his big kickers? Yeah, his big feet, yeah. Okay, so now we have the mole and the rabbit inside the snow white mitten. What do you see next? Hedgehog. Ah, let's see what it says. Next, a hedgehog. Hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten to warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not wanting to be ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. Ooh, look at that. It's Ow. getting really full inside that mitten, isn't it? And now there's an owl. owl. Ooh. And Nikki doesn't even know that he lost his mitten. He's over here checking out all the things in winter, isn't he? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl attracted by the commotion swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. What are glinty talons, kindergarten? Feet. Yeah, his feet. Look at these glinty talons. Oh, I think I'd move over if I saw those too. What do we think is next? Oh, a skunk. Maybe a skunk. Kind of, kind of has a face like a skunk, doesn't it? Let's see what happens. Or a squirrel. Ooh, up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. 
the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Oh, it looks like there's still room in the thumb, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And what are diggers? His feet. Yeah, his feet. That's what. That's how he burrows along. I think I know which one to get. What's next? Fox. Fox. Okay. Ooh. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and Fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. When it says they, he poked his muzzle in, what does muzzle mean? His teeth. It's, his, it's like his face, his nose part. It's called, a, it's called a muzzle. Ooh, what is next, kindergarten? Bear. Ah, bear. Yeek. Do you think there's room in there? No. I don't either. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, the bear began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Oh, and what comes next? Now. A little field mouse, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe in the thumb. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Uh-oh, what do we notice in the mitten now? Uh, the boy. Yeah, the boy Nicky. And what's he looking at? What's his face telling us? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's looking in his hand and he sees he has one mitten, but he's like, Oh no, does he have another one? No. And what did Baba say she would look first to see if he was safe and second to see if he had what? His, his mittens. And what's gonna, do you think he's gonna have both his mittens? No. Oh no, let's find out what happens. The bear tickled by mouse's whiskers gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 chew. The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. It's the mouse. Oh. It's the mouse. It's On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. Did it shrink back down? Is it still kind of puffy and big? Yeah. yeah, look at all the animals. They're all over the place, aren't they? As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Oh, but while Baba's looking at his mittens, she notices what? What does she notice? Of, what does she notice about his mittens? It's big. Yeah, look, he has one that's really big and one that is normal size. Her face looks kind of confused, doesn't it? It's like, why are there two mittens here that are different sizes? Well, I, that's one of my favorite stories. I hope you enjoyed it on this snowy, snowy Thursday morning. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to us.